Hi, I'm Kirin Millspaw, and I worked with Angela Gower Johnson this past year, 2014. I got to meet her in February, I believe it was, maybe even the end of January, February. We really started intensely working towards the end of February, and I can't suggest energy work enough. In fact, I always talk about it, and energy and woo-woo as it is, it's so necessary. Just research the physics behind energy, and you'll know what I'm talking about. The key thing is, is I went through so much this year, and if I didn't have her support and the shifting that happens in your life and your head and all the sabotaging thoughts and the, the energy of bitterness and anger and frustration that shows up as you start to evolve into what your next level in life is supposed to look like, if you're not grounded with certain tools that an energy coach can work you through and work with you, I mean, you'll spin off and just end up sabotaging is really what happens. So ironically, things started to shift very quickly for me once I started working with her, like literally within the first month. And at first, sometimes things feel like, oh my gosh, they're all falling apart. What the hell is going on in my life? But it's that shaking up, you know, that rattling, that earthquake type of feeling, which is what has to happen for literally everything to fall into place. It will feel like it's falling apart. So that's what worked with me is I, I went from, long story short, I came to her really to look for the love of my life and really get clear on that. And she steered me in the right direction, which I encourage my clients to this day, is work on you first, which not all of us want to hear that. Sometimes we just want to look for love and find that right relationship and then work on ourselves. It doesn't always work that way and it's not smart. So I, we redirected back to my career, which I've been working on for a couple of years now to really launch working for myself full time. I was currently also working another job. But the key thing is, is I was kind of serving two masters. So Angela got to feel that nervous energy of when do I let go of the job? When do I get to latch onto the business? What should I do next? Should I get another job? All sorts of crazy stuff showed up in my world from demotions to pay cuts to am I going to lose my job? Every day was weird as the universe was pushing me out of my job and into my entrepreneur role that I'm in today, which I've been in this role before, but not as a single mom. So it looked a little scarier. And not so much as, you know, without a business partner, this is completely me this time. And I've done other business adventures, but never 100% truly trusting myself and seeing how strong my wings really are. So overall, through that journey, literally from like late February to me leaving my job in August, taking on my role 100%, 100% my business as a business coach for health coaches and life coaches. I love what I do. I always felt that pull anyway. And the interesting part is I thought I could, you know, I've been a wellness coach for 10 years and Angela really got smart and said, you know, Carrie, that doesn't quite match your energy. And I thought, well, I have a game plan to do a wellness event and a wellness launch towards the end of the year. That's how I'm going to work my way into my business. We can't stop now. I'm full steam ahead. And she's like, no, no, do me a favor, do some free sessions and just feel the energy of how you feel coaching women in business. Well, of course, it was freaking awesome, right? So my energy level was insane. I was, you couldn't peel me off the roof kind of feeling. You know, it matches that vibration that you're so excited about. Trust me, I love health and wellness too, but the vibration's a lot lower. It's exciting, but it's not like, oh my God, up here, which she, she could tell because we had talked about it and I had talked to her about marketing and she could tell my energy was really excited about business. So the cool part is, is she shifted me, even though it felt all wrong, because the logic in my head was like, whoa, 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 we have a game plan. No, 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 we can't backpedal now. I've got strategy to this business plan that I've created this, you know, since the beginning of this year. And thank God she did. I totally stopped one project, jumped into another, and just launched it. And it's been very successful so far. Things have been great. I'm up leveling. And trust me, the tools she gives you to to just shift that energy and to get really in tune with my own intuition, you know, because I've gotten extremely sensitive just working with her and watching my own patterns and getting really clear on the triggers of when I feel fear, what to do about it. Um, I never could understand quite why she didn't want me to analyze my behavior. She just wanted me to get out of that shit as fast as possible, if you know what I mean. So I'm like, well, why we only want to analyze what pushed the button, why I'm triggered, why stay in that icky zone any longer than the five, 10 minutes or half an hour that it takes to get there. So beautiful her, she jumped me from, you know, finding that icky space and how quickly can we change to a happy zone? And what that really means 
and I didn't understand at the time, of course it's all full circle now, was that she wants your vibration level to be up high at all times because that's where all the good stuff is. That's where you get to attract more fun things. If your vibration is way low all the time in that icky zone, and if you stay there, which is where we want to stay a lot of the time, sometimes it's, the days are so bad you just want to pull the covers over your head, but that vibration level is the lowest on the planet. Why would you want to stay there? Only crap is down there, right? The bottom feeders of the planet. All the yummy great stuff is up here in that vibration. So Angela teaches you the tools to get that energy level back up so you are attracting and producing at that level of vibration where it brings in more awesome goodness into your life. And now every day I get to work in a business that I absolutely adore. That's my own, my own brand. I get to work with clients. I look forward to the client sessions. It doesn't feel heavy or like it's dragging me down. I actually get literally high off of my coaching sessions with my clients. So she definitely steered me in the right direction. Our next project is to create that man, to manifest him. I journal about him. I do some intention journaling. She calls it rampaging. She might go into detail with that. I highly recommend working with her. I couldn't have done it without her. The shift in this year, it was just so much. And I know I have a lot more to go. Um, it's one of those things you never quite get over. You always need someone to help you get grounded as you keep up leveling in your life. You know, keeping you clear, grounded, and watching where you sabotage. Because there was many times that I just wanted to throw in the towel and screw it all up. So she'll keep you focused and keep you on track. Anyone that's working with Angela is blessed to have her. Thank you so much for listening to my year journey with Angela.